Presently, I'm reviewing the um, black iron oxide uh, synthetic one pound from Alpha Chemicals. Now, when you get this thing, and this was a little bit of a surprise to me, um, they sent it to you in a freaking bag. So, I don't know about that. That might be, uh, you know, it might be a good quality chemical or whatnot, but, you know, boy, talking about saving money, I'd expect it to get a jar. I'm going to get like a you know, a laxative bottle or, or vit big vitamin bottle or something and scoop this stuff into it because, you know, you don't want a bag of this stuff lying around them. This is messy stuff. I haven't opened it yet. <clears throat> um, but, you know, the iron oxide is very messy black powder and it'll get all over everything. And, um, you know, for them to send it in a bag I thought was kind of crude. Um, but I... Um, um, bought this stuff, you know, because I actually want to try to make, uh, see if I can make ferrofluid out of it. Um, homemade ferrofluid, you know, it involves the ingredients of this and oleic acid, which, you know, a cheap substitute is olive oil, you know, but I haven't gone to the store to get olive oil yet. I'm going to do that and make a video about ferrofluid next week. But yeah, it involves this, oleic acid, or olive oil, in other words and mineral oil, um, you know, from a formula I got off the uh, internet. But I'm going to attempt to make my own um, with this stuff next week. Uh, I don't know if it's as fine grain. In fact, it probably isn't as fine grain as what actual commercial ferrofluid would have in it. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm still going to give it a try anyway, um, so we can see, you know, what we can make out of this. Um, I'll be posting this video on my YouTube channel, Robert Scrip. Um, probably in the next week or so, but, um, you know, I just wanted to show you that, you know, that you're going to be getting it in this, you know, kind of a package, so, you know, don't be surprised by that. Now, here are a stack of neodymium magnets, and, you know, you can see this stuff's quite magnetic, so, um, in fact, these magnets are, are too, one of the best values uh, I've come across in neodymium magnets, period. Um, let me show you yeah, it's these bikes, uh, 30 piece and 45 neodymium magnets. So, you know, if you want a good deal in neodymium magnets, you're thinking about using this stuff to make, uh, you know, ferrofluid, like I'm going to try to do, or some people are talking about uh, magnetic putty, you know, you're going to want a good strong magnet, and these are really good values. You get like 30 of these things for like, you know, 13 bucks, um, and they are really, really strong, you know, at half inch by half inch by eighth inch. You can go view on these magnets too, which, um, you know, which, um, you know, kind of goes into detail on these magnets, and uh, plus you can see my magnet videos on YouTube, you know, which you may want to do in general too when I get my ferrofluid video posted so you can actually see this stuff in action and see what kind of container I move this to because believe me I'm going to move this to a, a container so I'll probably make a couple of short videos about this so you know you may want to check out my YouTube channel um, anyway um, you know it's uh, March 24 or yeah March 24th um, 2015 so you know in the next week or so I should have a, a video in it I just got to get to the store and buy some olive oil because I don't have any olive oil so um, and then I'll be posting a video on that and we'll see what the results are anyway thanks Simulation completed, Master.